So this is part two. I know I'm going to make a longer video because one minute isn't enough. But uh, this is part two of putting God in every part of your life. If you truly want to change, that's the only way you're going to change. The only way you're going to change if you truly want it. Because you can want it, want it. You can uh, say you want to change, but if you don't want it, you don't have the will to put it put forth. If people want to change out of addiction, they have to want it. Even though they may relapse 20, 30 times before they change, they want it, they're putting work towards it, and they're manifesting their goals with God. You know what I mean? Same with any, any, any uh, negative behavior. If you want to change, you have to put it forth. You may relapse on that thought, you may relapse on that action, but once you get it down, practice makes perfect. So you'll perfect your, your good behavior over your negative behavior and negative actions. Trust that. But the way I changed was my mind got broken down. Being, being, uh, put substance, being, substances ruined my mind. You know what I mean? Say that. It broke me down. I was like, I felt like I was, uh, TTD. You know what I mean? So from that, from then being that low, I had to reset my mind and I retrained my mind into the glory of God. And because I retrained my mind, I was born a new creation. But the way I retrained my mind, was um was um was putting god in every single part of my life i was living in anxiety and fears up in my mind with demonic attacks witchcraft against me psychic attacks spiritual attacks spirits haunting me and a lot more you know what i mean let alone physical physical things coming against me so it, it was uh it was chaos but through chaos comes enlightenment when you when you can understand the lowest of the lows and you can come out on top with light you're you're growing in god but the way that happens is you retrain your whole life if you want to get closer to god you put him in every part of your life you wake up thank you lord i'm here thank you lord i love you thank you lord for every part of my my being in my life whether the good or bad i'm still here i'm still alive i'm still breathing i still have food on my table i still i still have a home all that good stuff i still have a phone in my hand i still have internet i still have service every little thing matters when you give thanks for him you wake up and just give thanks to god and pray to god and throughout the day you think of god what, what i did was i would watch youtube videos one of the channels i would watch that would help me out a lot was grace for purpose it is affirmations and Bible scriptures, and I would watch that almost every single day. Even in the shower, I was playing that Christian music, alternative Christian music, and um, and playing Grace for Purpose throughout the day. I would be chilling in my room and just put Grace for Purpose on my TV and let it play so it changed the atmosphere of my, of my room to a godly atmosphere. One thing you guys don't know, I'll make a video on godly as atmospheres which playing music and uh, things of God will, will change your atmosphere. I'll make another video on that. Um, so Grace for Purpose, I'd highly recommend. It has affirmations and people reading Bible scriptures and things to reaffirm and help you on your path. It's, a, it's on YouTube, Grace for Purpose. And I really cling to that channel when I was going through it and brought me out of hard times. That I would play that all day amongst other channels but that's the one main one that I would play and then I would read scriptures every day I read the whole Bible every single day I'd read the Bible and I'd read it on YouTube every single day I basically have the whole Bible of me reading the whole Bible on YouTube and um, all the way up to like the last I missed the last couple books first I read the Bible front to back by myself then the second time around I read the Bible in my room on YouTube and um, so I basically read it twice and um, and I was reading it every single day sometimes two three times a day fitting God into my life completely then let it along I would wake up and start listening to Christian music K Love Radio the other Christian stations I think it's like 104 Hope or something like that I can't remember I can't remember what it was I don't listen to them that much anymore but I listen to Pandora Christian music sometimes I listen to rap now again, but when I was changing, rap gave me anxiety. 
Um, I didn't like the frequencies of the rap. I was just sensing it on a deeper level. It was giving me anxiety and fears and overthinking. And I didn't like to listen to rap only once in a while. And so I would listen to alternative Christian music like K-Love. I, I didn't even listen to Christian rap like that because the rap frequency was like a trigger for me. So I would listen to alternative Christian music, wake up in the morning and turn on my radio and um, listen to Christian music, alternative Christian rock or whatever it was. And it would calm my soul, calm my spirit and fill, fill my room with the atmosphere of God. So this is just telling you guys a little testimony of how I put and accepted God and Christ and Holy Spirit into my life on a fuller aspect. Not just, okay, I go to church on one day and then go sin on another day, you know what I mean? No, I, I stopped sinning back then and I, then I became a preacher and a reverend. And that's when I used to do my live streams on here and preach with you guys in Bible study. Um, I love you guys who've been following me for a while. You guys are amazing. Um, my Masonic homie, North, um, Daniel Brazel, shout out to y'all. You guys always came in and watched my Bible studies. I, I, I'm, I need to do a Bible study soon. Um, but yeah, um, we need to do a Bible study soon. But this video is to, to tell you that when you put God in every part of your life, you grow closer to God. You build your relationship with God and you connect with God, the Holy Spirit and Christ. And when you put God in every part of your life, guess what happens? People see God in you and they dislike you. People see God in you. My, 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 my family used to be like, oh, you're not God. You're not God. Because all I did was talk about God 24-7. Like literally, I fell in love with God. And when you fall in love with God, you want God in all parts of your life. And, and my sister used to tell me, oh, you're not God. You're not God. And that's a spirit of mockery that hates the spirit of God in you. You know what I mean? When someone, she would always tell me that, you're not God, you're not God. Okay, why well, I'm not God. That's a spirit of mockery that hates the light that shines in you, you know what I mean? And she didn't even recognize it. She just thought she was cool, whatever. But we want to be cool on the demon, a demon of mockery? Then you could be cool over there. I'm going to be cool with God. But anyways, um, but anyways, uh, putting God in every part of your life makes you think twice. When you train your mind to put have God in your mind at all times... Whether wake up in the morning, play music all day, listen to YouTube videos of Christ and God and scriptures, read the Bible, pray, meditate on the word. You train your whole being to be closer to God and you build that relationship with him. And after this, after I did this, guess what? I dreamt of God twice. I had a vision of God. So you, you, they can't tell me it doesn't work. When you dream, when you come closer to God, you come closer to God for yourself and your soul and your sanity and for the highest good so but like i said when you put god in all, every part of your life guess what he blesses every part of your life he protects you in every part of your life he helps and guides you in every part of your life he gives you anointings over your life some of us may have prophetic anointings like i do and some of us have holy anointings like a lot of christians do and a lot of uh disciples of christ do um so um but like I said, when you put God in every part of your life and you train your mind like that, you think twice. Every time a temptation comes, you're like, nah, God doesn't like that. Because you already trained your mind to have God and the Holy Spirit flow through you and you feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. You're like, okay, that's a temptation. I, I don't like that. Pray it away. God rebuked us. Oh, that person's energy is weird. God rebuke them. Help me remove them from my life. Oh, this place is demonic. God rebuke this. Move it out of our lives. May you bless our life. You know what I mean? So when you have God in every part of your life, you second guess every temptation, everything that comes against you, and you recognize it with the discernment of the Holy Spirit. So that's one reason that you want to put God in every single part of your life. So every single part of your life flourishes and you grow. You become financially stable. You become out of poverty. You become healthy. You know what I mean? You become happier you know what i'm saying and that's a testimony of putting god in every part of your life so i hope this guys touches your guys's heart and lets you guys know that some of us struggle and putting god in your life can help you out of those struggles now i'm here out of depression smiling and feeling a lot better glory to god